Hi guys, Justin from Belfield Music. Today we've got Pete from PRS Australia here with us. And we're going to be having a look at the MT15 amp. So Pete, what are we looking at here? I've brought in today the Paul Reed Smith MT15 all valve two channel 15 watt amplifier. So Pete, I might get you to play a few riffs and give us an idea of what it sounds like and then we'll throw a couple of questions around. Absolutely, Alrighty. let's do this. Yeah, let's dive into it. So Pete, the first thing we notice about the MT-15 is its size. Um, it comes in at like roughly eight kilo. Um, does it still have all the features that you'd expect on a tube amp though? It does indeed, yeah. it does indeed. You've got two selectable channels uh, via foot switch. Um, you can also select that uh, via this switch here. Uh, clean channel, blue, red channel, high gain. Um, you also have on the clean channel, if I were to flick back, you have this little uh, uh, treble boost thing here. So this essentially gives you three completely different sounds mm. on the amplifier. Now, um, running back to the lead channel, the the gain here is uh, it can be through the roof. Yeah. Essentially, right. So you can wind that back to get hard rock tones, uh, and then really push it a lot further to get uh, more hardcore metal. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sounding. And that treble boost, like I've never actually ever seen a treble boost on an amp before. Is that Common? Yeah, well, it, it is. You can think of it uh, similarly to a bright switch, but what, what'll happen is uh, you, 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 the treble boost is akin to a bright switch pre the tone stack. So what that's doing is it's sharpening the guitar signal up um, before it goes into the, the preamp. Got you. Right, so it really tightens things up, it gives things a little bit more hair, and it gives you a little, just a little bit more overdrive to yeah, okay. just a touch. And you yeah. might even get a little bit more uh, like natural compression from your tubes if you're pushing a bit more treble into them. Maybe? Oh yeah, yeah, most, yeah. De most definitely, yeah, yeah. So what, what you'll find is um, that tube compression, that, that'll happen as you start cranking the master mm -hmm. volume considerably. Yeah. Uh, having said that though, this is a very loud amp, but we'll, I'm sure we'll get to that. Yeah, awesome, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the MT and the MT-15 is obviously for Mark Tremonti, uh, and we know that guy from Creed and Alter Bridge, so are we looking at like a primarily metal amp here? Look, predominantly yes. Uh, the, the lead channel uh, is through the roof. Uh, the, the, the design uh, was taken from the Archon. All right, so you've got essentially five 12AX7s which run the, the preamp section of this, so they're cascaded into each other. So you end up with a lot of gain available on tap. Um, this is a very usable gain control here, so you can really wind that back. Um, if you find it's too much, you can even uh, put an overdrive in front and wind the volume back on your overdrive. Um, I've even seen some people switching off uh, or switching out the V1 uh, 12AX7 tube to a 12AU or a 12AT7, and right. that really reduces the, the available gain on tap. Uh, with these things too. I probably wouldn't suggest doing that. Uh, your, your gain control will most definitely uh, get you from hard rock territory uh, to high gain and death metal, and black metal, yeah, excellent. metalcore and all that kind of thing. Um, and we, like we even noticed on some of the demos you were playing earlier, the clean channel as well is really usable and very sparkly. It is indeed. Yeah. Now I think Mark Tremonti said this is his favourite clean channel yeah. uh, out of all of the amplifiers that he's got available to him. I think he's used previously these things like Massive and Bognets mm. and all that kind of thing. But I think recently with a couple of recordings that he's done, uh, he has utilised the MT-15 mm. uh, and he says the clean channel is his most favourite. Uh, to me it has bell-like sort of tones. Uh, it sounds very Fender-like. and it's I very think shiny. It's probably attributed to the 6L6s. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah.
So Pete, um, when I was getting ready for this, we were doing a bit of research into the MT15 and a lot of the things I was finding a lot of users were coming back with was how big the amp sounds for like only being 15 watts and weighing only six or eight kilos. So um, oh, yeah. how have PRS managed to like pack all this tone in this tiny little amp? It's definitely the loudest 15 watt amplifier I think I've ever played I've through. noticed we haven't even able, uh, when yeah. we were testing it in store, um, we're not even able to get over like a quarter of the way on the main volume before we start getting really overwhelmed. Almost definitely. Yeah. And look, I think that comes down to the fact that um, uh, in design, they'd essentially downscaled a, a high wattage amplifier. So I think they were looking at either something like a 30 or a 50 watt amplifier as their base. Mm. And they subsequently downscaled it. So you end up with this little 15 watt base. Right. Um, you've got two 6L6s in here, right? Um, ultimately, you could probably push 60 to 70 watts out of these things yeah. and really push those tubes very hard. But um, they downscaled the power transformer and the output transformer uh, to get us down to that 15 watt range. But having said that, it's a, you know, it's a very, it's a very loud, loud 15, 15 watts. watts. Yeah. yeah. And I guess that's where the likeness to, say, the PRS Archon amp comes into it, right? Because those guys were 50 and 100 watts. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Big amplifiers yep. for big sounds. So subsequently, you know, you're, you're not compromising here. You're still getting those big sounds um, in, in a little, little platform. It's a really massive sound for such a tiny amp. Yeah, most definitely. And tell me, the red channel, I mean, we've obviously got um, a, a gain channel and a clean channel with the gain being these fancy red LEDs. Yep. Does the gain channel go faster? Oh, yes, most definitely it does. <laughs> <laughs> What an incredible sounding amp, Pete. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks for having us. Uh, guys, get out and check this amplifier out when you can. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.